Hey everybody, well this week I'm going to do a quick rundown on a brand new bow vise that just came out. I mean this thing's so new that uh, you ever had that new, smelled that new car smell? Well this thing's got it. I mean literally it's, it's less than 10 days old. Um, it depends on when you watch this video too, so maybe I'm lying. If you watch this video, <laughs> it may be longer than 10 days because this video is going to be around a while. But anyway, back to the bow vise. What I wanted to show you was is that this, I've got three of them here mounted on my bench right now. It's actually all the same. Now, I know you're sitting there waiting, looking, and you see I got my Z7 there. I got my longbow mounted in here. I've got this PSE Chaos belongs to my wife. It's, it's mounted in this one. Now, the reason I wanted to show you is because it's versatile. It's basically what I'm showing you here. You've got all three of the same exact bow vise. They make one bow vise. That's it. Now they make some accessories that gives you some versatility. I'm going to talk about those in a minute. The one right here in the middle has got the longbow in it. It is the base model and it's bench mounted. That is one option that you have. So it, it'll, it'll give you the full swivel. You can put longbows in them. You can put recurves. You can put everything in it. I mean I can stand here and play musical bows and, and it doesn't matter. I can reach over here and grab some of those old bear bows that I got that I've kept for all of the years, I can get my daggone Allen bow down. It, it'll all clamp into this bow vise. It's called the bow grip. So, and it will literally grip any bow. So, we're going to talk about the features of it real quick. And it's probably the most versatile bow vise that I've ever seen. Put this out of the way for now. That thing's 64 inches long or 68 inches long or something like that. I mean, I have a hard time walking through the house without knocking stuff over with that bow. It's, it's, I love the old thing. I don't shoot it much, but it's really long. Okay, the base model is this one right here. It's bench mounted in this, posi in this uh, particular uh, setup. You see, I have the long bow in it. I'll grab the Z7. We'll go ahead and slap the Z7 in it. So there's no magic tricks here. It's got one adjustment knob for the limb thickness right here on the side. You can get your bow thickness down. It's fast. Pow! You've seen that like lightning bolt. Want me to do it again in slow motion? Let me see. Now, nah, really, it is. It's lightning fast. I want to slow it down so you can see it. But you lock your bow down. One knob adjusts limb thickness. It'll go all the different bows. You can think, take the Z7 out, put it over, and grab the chaos bring it over make our limb adjustment lock it down position it where we need it lock it down and done that's really cool now the other thing that makes this bow vice great is there again it's the simplicity of it it's got one single knob on the side you loosen it a little bit the bow will set, stay in the same position but here's the beauty look at this you can pivot it around now, how many times have you ever had a bow vise and you needed, you wanted to get in here and work on this side of the bow and you were leaning around? You don't have to do that with this one. You can spin it around. You can put your sights on, put your rest on, zing, bring it around, lock it down, so put your levels on there, get it straight, put your arrow on there, get your arrow rest height set. I mean, man, this thing's crazy versatile. It's going to make life a lot easier for the home bow shop and for you know the, the do-it-yourselfers for the guy who's a professional you know this is coming out to everybody right st straight up fair and square nobody's getting this bow vice other than me before before anybody else the bow shops don't have these yet and they're not available anywhere but two places at bowgrip.com and at bowtuningtips.com so if you guys are interested in purchasing one of them you can check those two places out and, and get you one there Okay, back to the versatility. Like you see, I took the same vise and I switched three bows into it already. I could go over here all day long and we could put all these different bows into it. They'll all work. Put a crossbow in it. It'll work. It doesn't matter. If it's got a limb, you can put it in there. It's guaranteed. And it locks down solid. Literally one knob positioning. Look at this. You can break this knob loose. You can spin the bow all the way around 360 degrees. I'm knocking stuff off my bench now. Because my bench ain't used to having this much mobility <laughs> in the vise. So anyway, you can spin it around that way. You can bring the bow down, spin it around. Look at that. 
get the thing horizontal lock it down you got to do a little tighter when you do horizontal because you got a lot of leverage there but boom you could get over here put your silencers on mess with the peep sight tie it in put some serving on it fix the D loop up man and you're right back in business if you wanted to lay it down like this and bring it over and work on the sights you can if you wanted to bring it around work on the inside of the bow you can you can lock it down in all these positions one knob does all that adjustment it's crazy simple these bow vices um, have three have some more have some different options like I said it's a base unit you get it right here boom under 80 bucks this one down here is mine it's got a bench clamp that's that's the option that I like on there you can change these out too so you can have a bench clamp today you can take it and mount it permanent tomorrow or today too it doesn't matter I like it like this because sometimes I'm using my bench for different stuff I can take it off my bench I can take it with me in my bow case hook it on a picnic table with a bow chute anything like that do a little servicing or when I'm out at the range sighting in I can clamp it on my table out there set my sights that way I'm not trying to do the old between the knee bow vice you know that's the original bow vice right here holding it between your knees <laughs> allen wrenches and, and, and knocking it over and trying not to drop your bow so that that's the original one there whoever invented that one pretty smart guy but uh anyway having the portability of it is nice it's simple to use it'll bolt down this thing's tough as nails it's made out of all metal the knobs plastic that's it it's got the ergonomic rubber grips here on the end that means that it's comfortable to your little soft hands <laughs> they all have that they got padded jaws to protect your bow from getting scratched and also it gives you a firm grip so you know that's good it's sturdy and stable this unit here it's kind of different looking it's got a big base on it now this one's mounted to the bench also but it's got the optional tool tray and it's got a magnet on there you put your screws on it's got a little dish you can put your tools in while you're doing a specific thing it would be like mine I'd have it full of all kinds of stuff and that's what will happen guaranteed but you got the ability it's got like six trays here you can put stuff in there again this is like I said it's the same vice got the same features that the main base one does it's all just got this is a different uh, option that you can get there's another option that you can get it's on this one it is let's see here it's a magnet on the bottom of it and the magnets pretty strong I have to say that it'll work good for uh, if you're out in the field somewhere and you wanted to work on your bow or you needed to make some adjustments you could pop this dude on the bed of your truck right there on the tailgate put your bow in it um, it's on the on the four-wheeler rack it'll work on that anything metal you know magnets will stick to so that's another handy feature one thing about the magnet is it's designed to hold about five pounds so if you go tipping your bow real far like horizontal you're not going to get that position out of it you know it's going to be one of those things that would tip but that's a cool feature you know nobody's offering nobody that makes bow vices right now is offering a magnetic base they're not offering the clamp base they're not offering portability basically you're locked down to putting it on a bench and working in one place that is what i like about this i like everything about it man i can't go i can't stand here and pick one thing that i like the best i like the simple adjustments like i say you can put any bow in the thing you can lock it down one knob adjustment for limb thickness one knob adju adjustment for positioning it's going to hold it sturdy it's going to be good it's versatile my bow shop we work on everything i have one bow vice that'll do any bow and that's the greatest thing that ever was okay that bow vice is called the bow grip it's made by bow grip they got a website it's called bowgrip.com bow-grip.com there's a lot of information over there about it some pictures a close-up pictures showing some of the mobility of it this video is going to be there there's another video over there that I did of it when we first started working on it it's really neat to see there's uh, you can buy them there or you can go to bowtuningtips.com you can buy them there they're in the shop then they'll be under the category bow grip the base unit is under 80 bucks plus shipping and handling I think ten dollars shipping and handling so for some of those ones, there's one out there that's like the yellow one. I'm not going to mention any names, but that yellow one that's out there, it's the modified bow holder fork job. You've probably seen it. It's got a fork you put your limb in. Yeah. That thing's like 95 bucks. So for 90 bucks to your house, it sounds like, you can have the world's best bow vice. It's going to take over the bow vice industry, guys. I mean, there's no doubt in my mind. Anyway, this thing's going to sweep the world of bow vices. I promise you. 
But if you're looking for them, I told you the two places to check them out. Um, until then, this has been Kenny at BowTuningTips.com. I'm going to use their slogan, get a grip. I'll see you guys next time.